Hello, I'm Janet Cartwright and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. This is my first video on YouTube and I'm looking forward to it and I hope you'll join me. Um, for the next couple of days, I will be working with the stamp set Trusty Tools. Um, it's a very, very fun set. So let me turn you down. And a lovely dark day it is out there. <clears throat> So I'm working with the set Trusty Tools. Um, lots of fun things in here. Lots of hammers, wrenches, words, um, paint brushes. Love, love, love it. And you can also put some paint on the end of the paintbrush. And this set comes with framelits. I love using framelits. This is a set, does it tell me how many? A 20. There are 20 in here. So these dies you can use to cut out um, either your stamped image or you can use it on the paper. So the fun paper that comes with this, very fun. This is what I used today. Look at all these things, and the framelits, of course, match purposely. So there's a hammer, there's the wrench. There we go. There's just all sorts of, oh, that one's off camera. So you just snip around it. So the paper that I'm actually, <laughs> that's in front of me, I have already snipped out some of the tools. So this is actually another sheet. This is, I've, I don't know how many tools I have taken out of there. And there are two sheets of each. So there's some nuts and bolts. And we're using this today, cork board for holding tools. And an odd piece of paper in there. Screwdrivers as a background. Hammers and nails. And this, you make this um, horizontal. You can make a toolbox out of it. Again, cork board and a beautiful, hmm, pretty peacock. I'll have to look at the back. And there's a different set of tools on this paper. So this is the reverse of the paper. This side has a ruler. Of course, every carpenter or woodworker has a ruler. I even have a ruler on my desk. And here we have nuts and bolts. And more, where are these nuts and bolts, but the top view and a beautiful gray background if you want to use that. More rulers and hammers and nails and then a grid, you know, for when you sketch things out. And so this set comes from the mini catalog. Let's see if I can, this is another fun set, the Be Mine. Now I did not mark the trusty tool set. So I'm gonna look in the back here. Trusty Tools, L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S-T. There we go, page 56. <clears throat> there we go. So when you order this, you get, if you order the bundle, you get the stamp set and you get the framelits. Um, I should turn this over so you can see there's a couple of more framelits there. Um, so all of that together is $75.50, unless you sign up to be a demonstrator, um, then you can get 20% off. But $75.50 qualifies you to get a free item from Celebration. January until the 29th of February, there's a celebration going on, so it's a perfect time to sign up as a demonstrator. Um, the kit is 135, no shipping, no tax, and you get $165 of product plus a free glass mat studio, which is really awesome. I don't have that yet. I just signed up the end of October. Um, so yeah. There is lots of um, level one, so for every $60, you can choose free items. And there's a level two, so for 120, 
you can also choose free items. So very, very fun. Um, if you want to sign up under my team, that would be awesome. So let's create the card. So I have used copper clay. I've scored it in the half. So five and a half by 11, I had to think. Fold it in half. And then I've got another score line here, at two inches. Always fold towards the middle. I know it doesn't quite go over. But there's our card. You know what? Let's take the bone folder and let's strengthen that a little bit more. And then I'll come over here. There we go. Oh, here's the host code until January 14th. So if you order from my store online, use this. And then I will be able to give you the three um, trusty tools cards that we made this week. And then I'll have another host code for next week. So for each week or couple of weeks, I will have a host code so I know which card samples to send you as a thank you for ordering from my store. Okay, now I have all my pieces cut so that I don't have to bring over my stamp and cut and emboss machine. So our screwdrivers are going to fit here and here. So let's get those glued down. And I love this, um, oh my goodness, multi-purpose glue. Come on, because it gives you just a few seconds to um, adjust your paper if you need to. And then when it sticks, it's good and strong. There we go. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to move that one off to the side. And let's put that one right there. And then our second piece right there. So it has a little bit of a border of the copper clay. Oopsie, there we go. I moved it a little bit. And I can move it back so it doesn't stick right away. Tear and tape, if you use that, oh, once you're down, you're down usually. So there's our base for the card. And then what I have here is some very vanilla and the cork board. So I think I'm going to put the cork board onto a oh, little bit of paper there. I'm going to, oh, there's our rulers. So I'm going to put this onto the very vanilla there we go now onto this we are going to use dimensionals and we are going to put I want to say that's a wrench I think I'm going to have to look up these tools this one we're going to hang this way and then the saw I fussy cut it <laughs> I fussy cut the saw out and I have two sizes of dimensionals here so for the saw because it's nice and big I am going to use a dimensional and I can use two depending where I want to put the saw so down around there so I think I can put yeah I'll put another one down there just to make sure that saw stays on there now I can put these down and if I don't push, I can move it later. Now these ones are tiny, so I'm going to use the small Stampin' Dimensionals. And again, put two fairly close together because I'm not quite sure where I want to put it. Come here. Um, on the cork board. So I'd like to put it down a little bit. And this one, let's put a couple of dimensionals on this one. Make everything the same layer. And there we, off you go. Okay. Now I'd like to put this one up. Mm, let's move the saw over just a tiny bit. 
So this guy has a little more room. I like it. So I'll push it down. Now, what I'm going to do is put this here. But if I glue the whole thing down, you can't open the card. So I'm going to just do half of it. So about six across. So that would be, oh, you know what? I think we can use the hammer as our, as our line. There we go. And then get this balanced up. Keeping our, our saw on the card. There we go. Hold that for a second. Isn't that fun? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, now inside, of course, we need a greeting. Um, now we did very vanilla on the outside, so let's do, mm, or do we want the white? Excuse me. I'm going to do the white. Um, so let's pull the stamp set out here. How about you're the most awesome? Now, for some reason, I'm doing the inside before the outside, but that's okay because both have to be done. So let's get this on a block and I'm going to use copper clay. And then I'm just going to move this up a little bit. You're the most awesome. The most awesome. Oh, and I've got that up there. So you know what? There are two sides to every piece of cardstock. So I must have rocked a little bit. So be careful not to rock. Ta-da! I think there's ink. Oh, at the very corner. Now at the bottom... Do we want to put some pencils? Do we want to put a measuring tape? Hmm, yeah, how about a measuring tape? How big, it, oh yes, that works. Now I have a feeling this block is too small. No, it's a good size. All right, back into the copper clay. And we'll put it right there. So there's lots of room to sign your name and put Dear dad or dear brother, or, and then we're going to glue that inside. My glue is hiding under the card. Now, if this was on the front of the card with that little ink spot there, you can just pop an embellishment on it and then it's all gone. No one will ever know that you rocked your stamp. And here we go. You're the most awesome. Now there's nothing on the front. I have this piece of vanilla and you guessed it. I'm going to put Happy Father's Day right here. And I have a lovely, where's my little one? I have a feeling, yeah, that one's a little too little. All right, we'll use this one. And we'll do Happy Father's Day on here. On our very vanilla. And then we'll just hover what we hope is in the middle and straight down, straight up. Nice. Now, just like we did our tools, we're going to only glue half of the Happy Father's Day. So here we go, only about half. And I'm going to glue this half. And get it kind of level. Give it a little push. And there's our card. Happy Father's Day. You're the most awesome. How fun is that? Thank you for joining me today in creating our Happy Father's Day card. I hope you'll join me tomorrow for another card using the Trusty Tools stamp set from Stampin' Up. Have a great day. Bye-bye.